August, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th, get ready for an adventure-packed weekend at the West Coast Outdoors Sport Fishing Expo. Taking place at the Ventura Fairgrounds, it's everything outdoors under the sun. Discover the latest in boats, explore thrilling charters, and dive into the world of RVs. Whether you're an avid angler or just love the great outdoors, there's something for everyone. For more information, visit sportfishingexpo.com. Good morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to set up for the morning briefing. It is absolutely gorgeous. After the rockfish opener in Southern California, we spent our day on the island spirit and had so much fun. Of course, I'll be covering that, the bluefin tuna bite, and so much more. It's time to get going here. Good morning, my friends. Get ready. The morning briefing is next. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. This absolutely gorgeous Tuesday morning. Just take a look out there. Man, it is absolutely beautiful. What an opener it was. The Rockfish Opener in Southern California 2024 was fantastic. I spent my day on the island spirit. I'll have some photos and video and so much more, including another video we'll release later on today with a tour of the island spirit in Ventura sport fishing. We'll have all of that. But I just want to thank the captain and the crew, Daniel and his great crew on the Island Spirit, and the people who came out to fish on board. What an exceptional group of really great people. Really a lot of fun to spend time with. Thank you so very, very much. It was fantastic. Of course, we'll be talking about Big Blue Fan Tuna and the prospects of that. That looms very large with this kind of beautiful weather right now. Surf fishing has been outstanding. Big Fish Bait and Tackle awarded their custom rod to a really worthy angler. And of course, we'll be covering the halibut bite south of the border and so much more. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh my God. That is such good coffee, and it is so great to be with you all. You know, when we got in on the Island Spirit yesterday, we actually had a welcoming committee. Some folks that actually drove by just to say hello, and that meant the world to me. Robert Graber was there. Robert, it was so good to see you. Thank you so much for being there when we returned on the Island Spirit. It was great to give you a big abrazo and spend some time with such a good person. And also, man, I got to tell you, Eddie and Bella Berrigan. They were both there and it was so good to see them both. Father and daughter who love fishing so much. And Bella made her de debut right here on the Friedman Adventures channel, catching a giant white sea bass on board the Endeavor last year. She is awesome. It was so great to see you, Bella, and see your dad. Eddie, it was great to see you. Thanks for coming all the way out to the landing just to say, hello to me. It means the world to me. And I think we've got a new hat model for Freeman Adventures. Bella was sporting a hat yesterday and she looked great. It was really fantastic. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you're able to do that. It means the world to us. If you share these videos, that is fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe to the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel and tick that little bell. You'll be notified when there is new content. Also, you can catch us on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok for the time being, and also follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Great to be with you. What a lovely morning it is. It is so beautiful. And that offshore wind is kind of out of the picture right now. So we should have another great rockfish day and a week ahead to come. And of course, this is the time when the rockfish opens up here in Southern California, when people get to take home some of the finest eating fish in the sea. And when you catch it and eat it within a day or two, there is nothing like it. You cannot buy it anywhere. We are so blessed as anglers here 
in SoCal. All right, let me take you south of the border, and uh, we'll start you down there in the San Quentin area where their yellowtail bite should come roaring back. They've had great yellowtail action in San Quentin, which is 140 miles down below the border for quite some time. It has been excellent with copious amounts of colorful rockfish and big lynx, and they've caught some halibut down there here recently also. So that is shaping up with good weather. They'll get right back on it again. The Ensenada area, of course, black fin sport fishing. Previous to that wind and rain and all that crazy weather, we had picked off another bluefin tuna. There is bluefin tuna within Ponga range, you know, easy one day range of Ensenada right now. We're going to continue to watch that. I would suspect with good weather, that is just going to continue to build and build and build as the Ensenada fleet gets ready for it all. While they are readying up their efforts to get ready, let's get ready to get ready. While they're getting ready for the bluefin or more to arrive, they are still catching those big bonita down around Santo Tomas, which is 85 miles down below the border, and mixed with it, occasional yellowtails or some good calico bass fishing along the rugged, pristine, beautiful Baja Coast, Punabanda, and other areas have been very productive for the calico bass, even though the water temp's just barely 60, sometimes in the high 50s right now. As that gets warmer, that will continue to bite, and there's plenty of rockfish up and down the coast. Boats that have been going down to Colinette out of San Diego, and it's been a while now. That's 120 miles below the border, are picking off an occasional yellowtail. I think the best score on a day and a half trip down there, actually it was a two and a half, was right around 50 yellowtail. Most of the time it is tons of great rockfish, big lings, and an occasional hit on those yellowtail. We're starting to move further into spring. We might see some more of that indeed. So we'll be watching that for you very, very closely. All right, let's dive into the bluefin tuna situation. And my God, look at the Polaris Supreme unload her last catch at 43 bluefin tuna, 35 over 100 pounds. That is mind-boggling good. I know we're starting to get used to this, but I still pinch myself every time I see something like that because it's absolutely amazing for someone who's been fishing in Southern California for about 60 years now. God, I'm getting old really bad. But it's just, I mean, when I was a kid, I never would have dreamed that at this point in time, 2024, we would be catching that size bluefin tuna in such great numbers so close to San Diego. So we've seen some really great scores here. We've been weathered in. That's been the problem. We had all that wind and rain, inclement weather, and now we're going to be able to get back out. And there will be several boats heading out here this week, including yours truly, on a five-day trip on the Independence Thursday morning. God, I can't wait to see you on that trip. It is going to be a special one. Weather looks great for our first night. And as you know, we're going to get out of there early. So we'll be on that fish that very first night. That's going to be great. However, before we go, there are several boats that are headed out there. Polaris Supreme, Pacific Dawn, the legend. Yes, the tribute. All those boys will be out there giving us a little bit of a preview of what might lie ahead for us. So really exciting times. Big fish, lots of them. And uh, with more coverage, and we're going to get a little bit more here, you're going to see some really great scores coming out of there. Daytime fish, it's kind of a plunker bite. Not wide open by any stretch of the imagination. Choosing a good hot bait makes all the difference in the world. There's been some kite fish. The fly line fish have been mostly on 60 pound. And because the grade is so superior, you definitely want to have them on the heavy string if you can catch them that way. You can get away with 80 pound when you're fishing an eight ounce sinker rig and there's been quite a bit of fish that way also. But at night, that has been the time when these fish bite best and the big ones come out to play. I mean, a lot of that 100 to 190 pound bluefin tuna lurking around, 200 pound leader material essential, 100 to 130 pound spectra, dropping when the captain tells you to drop to the exact depth that he tells you to drop to all of those things will factor into you catching a trophy or two or three or four as I have my fingers crossed for each and every one of you who are joining us on the Freeman Adventures five-day trip on board the Independence. So things are looking really good. The weather 
there's going to be some days that are breezy. On our five-day forecast right now, we're going to have some breezy weather on some nights and beautiful weather on other nights. I wouldn't want to be on any other boat than the big, beautiful, luxurious independence. That is going to be fantastic. So we'll continue to monitor the bluefin situation, keep you all up to date on that. All right. Let's get in to the Southern California rockfish situation because it was a tremendous opener with lots of anglers out and lots of rockfish taken. Just about everywhere you look, we had excellent scores on the rockfish from San Diego all the way up to the Channel Islands. I'm going to mention a few landings, but I'm skipping over many just because it becomes redundant to repeat boat after boat after boat with great scores. However, it was good just about everywhere we look. Really great fishing. Out of Ventura Sport Fishing, the Endeavor on an overnight trip with my good friend Tucker McCombs. Nice trip for them. They ended up with an 18 pound sheephead being their biggest fish. They had a halibut, a white sea bass for their first sea bass of 24. That is great for the Endeavor limits are rockfish and plenty of links to go along with it. So Tucker McCombs kicking off the season great out there on board the Endeavor. We spent our day on board the Island Spirit. And as I mentioned to you, the people on board, passengers, crew, everybody, wow. I mean, I got to spend so much time with so many great people. We had an absolute ball. Once again, I thank you all very, very much. Good fishing on the rockfish. Everybody had a dent in their sack. Scott Grant with a nice ling cod. Way to go, Scotty was thrilled. It was his very first ling ever. And other folks on board were catching, you know, a mix of reds and bocaccio and other species. We did go into the backside of Anacapa Island and try some halibut drifts, but the conditions were just off. They weren't good at all. But man, this is a half day trip on the island square. Half day, you're fishing an island number one, which is kind of incredible. You're catching great whitefish and other stuff to go along with it. And you even have a chance to go in and check out the halibut white sea bass situation all on a half day trip. Had a great time on the island spirit, and I hope you get out with Captain Daniel Hottaway really, really soon. So much fun with their great crew. We had a ball. The El Patron out of Long Beach for fishing headed over to Santa Barbara Island on their trip. They had great fishing with 22 anglers, 210 on the whitefish, 211 on the rockfish, nine lynx, three sculpin, seven sheep said the Monte Carlo had a 22nd Street landing in beautiful San Pedro, California, where our studio is located. Had a fantastic day. Limits on the Vermilion rockfish. How can it get any better than that on a half day trip? Fantastic fishing. They had tons of other rockfish to go along with it. Just a phenomenal day on board the Monte Carlo. Our dear friend Nick Ramirez shows up. A nice olive rockfish, also known as a Johnny Bass. He caught on board the Spitfire out of Marina Del Rey sport fishing. Can it get any better? It was absolutely fantastic. Great fishing on the overnight boats, on the local boats. Great fishing indeed, providing excellent table fare for everybody who participated. And once again, I know I'm sounding redundant myself this morning. You can't buy the quality of fish that we get to catch here in SoCal. You go out, catch it, and eat it that same day or the very next day, and it is phenomenal. People that I give fish to just say, where, where did you get this? Well, how is it possible that it's this good? And it's the freshness that really makes all the difference. So we are truly blessed. Aloha Spirit up there out of Cisco's had three halibut. So there was a little bit of halibut taken up and down the coast. Not a ton on a beautiful sunrise here in Surfside. It is absolutely gorgeous, everybody. Really not all that much halibut. Most guys focused in on the rockfish. How can you beat that? And once again, when we returned to port, it was so good to see the folks who were waiting for yours truly. It meant a lot to me there at Ventura Sport Fishing. Saul up in the ticket office. I've got to send a special blessing to you and thanks to you for always being so nice to us. Man, Ventura Sport Fishing, you walk in the door and you feel like you're surrounded by friends and you truly are. It's a great place to fish. Had such a great time. All right, let us talk about what is going on here in the Southern California surf. And we can't help but start with our friend, Glenn Saldivar. 
who won a new custom rod from Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California for his 15 and a half inch barred perch, a gorgeous fish. And Glenn catching it from Honey Badger Baits is no surprise to me at all. The guy fishes hard. He loves surf fishing, so his enthusiasm for it is unparalleled. And he loves to get out here and work the surf. And man, I'll tell you, that guy knows his stuff. And he proved it by getting that custom rod at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. They're starting a whole new custom rod giveaway this month. I'm not sure what species it is quite yet. I'll figure that out for you later today and have it on the morning briefing tomorrow, or maybe I'll even do a short about it. But to be eligible for it, all you have to do is go into Big Fish Bait and Tackle. They have a ruler that you buy, and then that's it. You're in. All you have to do is when you make an extraordinary catch or a good catch or any catch, you put your ruler on the sand, you inscribe the date in the sand, and then you take a picture of your catch there with the ruler and you upload it to the Instagram page of Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach, California, and you are in. And Glenn, way to go, man. Nice going. What an outstanding surf angler this guy is. We've got to get him down here for one of our Friedman Adventures days where we invite the public down to surf fish with us. What a great teacher he is. And man, he knows his stuff. By the way, check out that flatfish in the surf. I don't have any details on it. Marty Talcove. Marty Talcove. Whoa, Marty, that is one fine flatfish in the surf. It looks like a beautiful big fish. And man, that is so cool to yank some flatties out of here. So once again, there's some yellowfin croaker. There's been some spotfin croaker. We see a little bit of corvina around and also some halibut here in the surf and barb perch still around town right now. Water temps up to about almost 60 now. We took a beating during those storms, but that cooler water is good for bar perch. You still catch quite a bit of yellowfin croaker. Throwing a little chrome crocodile is a great way to go, but if you need to get baited up, you can go to Big Fish and pick up ghost shrimp and worms and so much more to make all the difference in the world to your success. All right, my friends. Whoa, there is so much going on. And looming out there, of course, is this bluefin tuna. Once again, get ready because you're going to start seeing those big fish unloaded when they come back to the landings and you're going to see some live action from me because we will be sending you updates, current live updates from the independents. You're going to want to tune into that. I know the guys from Young's Tackle, they are on a trip that is following our trip up on the independents. So don't forget, all you guys, I'll be feeding you information with the captain and crew of the independents and showing you exactly what's going on. Anybody else jumping on a bluefin tuna boat or thinking about it, you're going to want to be tuned in as we take off Thursday. Thursday night, I should be able to have some updates for you. What can I tell you on this gorgeous, beautiful morning? It is spectacular. It's so nice to spend time with you. It was so great to spend time with all of you who showed up on the Island Spirit. I'll remind you all that we have several great charters this year, but they are going, going, going fast. So if you'd like to come out and fish with yours truly and be part of a Freedman Adventures video, please send me a text and I'll send you our charter schedule. We have a couple of trips on the El Patron, which are selling out in May. And then we have a May 31st great trip back on the island spirit again out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Those are going to be some great ones and a lot of fun. Don't forget 657. 227-6459. Send me a text. I'll send you the information. We'll get you signed up. All right. Have a great day. Have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see all of you who are on the Independence Trip bright and early Thursday morning at Point Loma Sword Fishing. For all of you who are out fishing rockfish again today, I wish you the best of luck. And once again, I thank all of you for all you do for Friedman Adventures. Take care. Have a great day. And I hope to see you really Really? Sir.